नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द अपकमिंग ट्रांसिट ऑफ प्लानिट मार्स विच ऑन अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी एथ विल ट्रांसिट द साइन ऑफ कैंसर एंड फ्रॉम अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी एथ टिल डिसम्बर सिक्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसिटिंग इन द कैंसर साइन सो डेफिनेटली गाइज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी लिटल बिट सेंसिटिव ट्रांसिट ऑफ द प्लानिट मार्स बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दैट वेन मार्स इज गोइंग टू बी इन द कैंसर साइन इट्स गोइंग टू गेट डेबिलिटेटेड एंड वी ऑल नो दैट मार्स इवन इन द मंडे इन ग्लोबल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू could be a very big uh, contributor for the war related situation as well and that is the one area uh, geopolitical concern which we all are like very worried about along with that guys whenever uh, any big level event happen any big escalation happen you will always get the promise coming in from the multiple directions as well just because guys uh, once uh, mars is going to transit the cancer sign it is going to be start giving its eighth aspect to the planet saturn as well um i do not take much of the aspect of the rahu and ketu but for those who believe in the aspect of the rahu as well so rahu is also going to be looking at this mars with its uh, fifth aspect as well along with that saturn which is currently transiting in the sadbhisha nakshatra of the rahu and rahu is currently transiting in the nakshatra of the planet saturn which is uttar bhadrapada so this is how guys like whenever any big thing whether in our personal life or in the world is meant to happen you will get the promise coming in from the multiple directions pointing in the same direction like the way guys um, the us election is due next month and for the us chart as well somehow they are going to be in the most difficult situation because uh, in a way uh, because a lot many of the uh, vedic astrology experts they also take a uh, united state america's uh, lagan chart as of the leo and imagine it's like uh, mars is going there in their 12th house so let's say for example even if you are involved in any uh, proxy war or something or uh, supporting any one party from behind the doors and all so this is one such kind of combination where things come out there and uh, whatever conspiracies you are a part of that comes into everyone's attention like in a way uh, people get exposed and all so with this whole combination coming in and definitely the immediate outcome of that is going to be the public outroar as well so all of that is not aligning in a direction of smooth flow of the things and again guys for all those people who follow the vedic astrology and the uh, hindu calendar prediction chatra shukla pratipada calculation over there as well it was being written over there that how much strength both mars and saturn has in this year so next year at the end of the march the only way it is going to be getting resolved is a major major escalation and after that everyone praying for peace so we still have time to talk about that when i will be talking about the yearly prediction for uh, 2025 of uh, uh, as per the 12 rising signs over there i will include those uh, information so now guys we will focus on this transit from our personal uh, 12 zodiac sign point of view as well now how if i were to ask you how you look at mars being in cancer or mars being debilitated so guys understand it in this way that the innate quality of that planet somehow goes into confusion agitation and all why we say that mars in the water sign tend to remain very sensitive now guys over here i will say the same thing it's like trust me if you have mars in the scorpio in its own sign or mars in the uh, pisces it is equally sensitive over there as well it's the mars uh, in the scorpio people only who end up doing stupid things driven by their uh, you know jilted emotions vengeance revenge and mars in the pisces can also make someone little bit vindictive as well so the energy of the mars in the water sign is always always a matter of concern and when we talk about the uh, energy of the cancer somehow it has a say over the collective emotions of the humanity as well so now focusing on our personal life definitely driven by uh, the force of emotions and feelings using those words uh, resorting to those kind of actions which you might regret later on if i were to say although there is no um, like hard and fast rule but somehow uh, in the case of the females it affect them the most like whenever mars is uh, giving any agitation any frustration in the sign of the cancer it negatively affects the females the more along with that guys definitely um, like in certain cases it can create a raj yoga as well like for example for the um, aquarians 
uh, Mars is going to be your 10th lord and 10th lord debilitated in the uh, Upachya Bhava like uh, Dushtana Bhava 6th house can definitely make a very good Raj Yoga as well. During this time you will be able to completely wipe out your enemies and all. So definitely when we talk about the planet Mars in the Cancer sign it is a matter of concern. So what we have to be careful about is that definitely uh, if you are a kind of person who is already very much prone towards uh, aggression, impulsiveness or getting very uh, defensive, taking things to your heart and all. So then you have to be very, very watchful, very careful about how you are protecting, guarding or uh, expressing your emotions or the feeling of hurt that will become very important. So yes guys, um, I cannot add much more over here as a generalized way. So once we will be getting deeper into the customized results for all the rising signs over there we will talk about that so okay guys uh, starting first with the um, aries rising natives so definitely guys in your case uh, mars is your ascendant lord like the way i always say wheresoever the ascendant lord goes the whole energy and focus goes in the matters of that house so in your case mars is going in the fourth house so definitely there could be some um, some redevelopment some sort of uh, revamp uh, making any changes in your living area like being a Aries like now even I told you when I ever since I came back from India I'm living in a temporary arrangement and I'm very close to moving and signing a lease somewhere so I guess this could be one of the indication so yes guys uh, ascendant lord is going there in the fourth house so it will definitely uh, churn up the things around your domestic life the area where you are currently residing just because Mars is um, like debilitated so it might be a unpleasing forceful hurtful kind of situation which you might also have to go through which you might also have to endure pertaining to the matters of your fourth house along with that guys for all those people who are in any way uh, dealing in any of the matters of the uh, public domain in the public service you are a farmer you have any of the dairy business and something so in those cases like if you are professionally operating in the domain of the fourth house those people still can get benefited but yes guys uh, emotions and feelings are going to be a little bit sensitive like you are very much prone and exposed and vulnerable towards the feelings of hurt, betrayal and these kind of hurtful kind of feelings. So over there you have to strongly guard yourself. You have to tread very carefully if you have to deal with any of these kind of touchy or sensitive kind of situation. Along with that guys from over here, uh, Mars is going to be giving its uh, fourth aspect to your um, like the seventh house. We all know that the fourth aspect of the Mars uh, tend to remain a little bit of the protective kind of um, aspect only but the way uh, your uh, seventh lord is going to be behaving during this time because seventh lord is going to be transiting in the eighth house so yes guys uh, there is going to be a lot of the churn up which you have to deal in the matters of the personal intimate relationship and all so behave very gracefully that is the one thing which i want to tell you because for the aries native sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult to uh, handle any betrayal or how they handle any hurtful feelings and all. So be very graceful in all those kind of areas for the commercial um, aspiration of yours. Like even if you're working as a professional realtor, this could be a good time for you not to worry about that. From over here guys, uh, definitely Mars is going to be giving a boost to your, um, to your 10th house and to your 11th house and Jupiter has already turned retrograde. So yes guys, it's a typical combination where like some of the uh, file work which has been asking for your attention or any of those area where which wants or which demands your heightened uh, participation contribution dedication so you will be able to put forth everything at your disposal so it is good for your uh, career related growth and all for like any of those goals which long you have been chasing and they are like some connected material benefits which have been pending for long you can expect some very major turnaround in all those areas so it is good for your finances it is good for your career it is very vulnerable for your domestic life related matters or the matters of your like all those uh, things which you guard yourself where you are very where you are very easily exposed to the feeling and vulnerable to hurt over there you have to stay guarded that is all what i can say for the aries natives now guys when we talk about the taurus natives definitely guys in your case uh, mars has got a rulership over your your uh 
12th house and your 7th house and in the transit mars is going to be transiting in your uh, like third house so guys uh, in a way like uh, mars has gone like uh, four places from its one sign and uh, nine places from its uh, another sign and the way we say this thing that the malefic planets even if they get debilitated but in the malefic houses like third house sixth house uh, eighth house they still hold this capacity to give good results so guys um, definitely this will make you a little bit forceful uh, regarding you will be very proactive uh, while uh, dealing with any situation exerting your authority you have to take any initiative you are in sales marketing you are a media professional and all so you'll be able to uh, push things to the completion execution with the best of your capabilities guys when we talk about um, your relationship with the living signification so do not startle or surprise people around you because of your over enthusiasm or aggression or impulsiveness that is the one thing which i want to say this could be one such kind of combination where you know see the thing is it is good like because even mars uh, is in the third house and it is making a connection with the 10th house saturn so definitely if let's say for example uh, your bosses are not taking you seriously you have got good ideas but they never get picked up all what was needed was that you to become a mangal pande i mean to say, mean to say you to revolt against your bosses just to get your voice heard not in a disrespectful way in a graceful way so you will be able to do that so yes it is good for um, being heard and being given a chance this could be through revolt as well but when we talk about um, your younger siblings terms with your neighbors like a lot many times people get into road rage and all because of all the time honking getting impatient even in the traffic while they have to reach somewhere so in all those areas you have to be a little bit careful uh, along with that guys uh, from over here uh, mars is going to be giving its uh, fourth aspect to your uh, sixth house again it will make you forceful it will make you more competitive uh, mars is going to be giving its aspect to your ninth house and the tenth house so for any sort of learning uh, quick rapid progress in your career this aspect is going to be beneficial for you now guys uh, let's say for example for the gemini natives definitely guys in your case see um, mars is not a very uh, beneficial planet for you for sure uh, mars has got a rulership over your sixth house and the uh, 11th house and in the transit it is going to be entering and getting debilitated in your second house so definitely guys uh, like see the thing is this is one such kind of combination because gemini natives are filled with the gift of gab and they are also very their timing is very good like even if they have to get back at someone like with with a tone of sarcasm their timing is always right that they hit you at a time it, it hurts the most so i mean to say uh, during this time just be very uh, mindful of the usage of your words it can actually make your speech little bit harsh or a lot many times you know like you know uh, digging the grave of the past someone did something wrong to you long back and suddenly you're just you know digging the graves and ghost of the past so be little bit mindful over there uh, regarding guys um, the thing is that you know this is one such kind of combination where people around you will definitely drain you a lot of your energy like this is not kind of combination where people around you will prove to be of source of strength or support this is one such kind of combination that they will try to now not with an intent to scam you or to manipulate you but it's just like that most of your energy time and money might be spent in supporting helping and lending other people taking care of supporting other people so this is how it could be and yes guys uh, i would say that um, mars uh, represents the brotherhood as well uh, it has got a rulership of the 11th house as well so um, the terms with the siblings or the male younger male members in the family could go a little bit bitter because of the exchange of some heated words over there you have to be a little bit careful now guys from over here mars is going to be giving its aspect to your fifth house so the um, i mean to say the fourth aspect to your fifth house so the fourth aspect of the mars tend to remain a little bit protective kind of guarding so definitely like um, if any of the concerns of yours right now is about any artistic creative work release of any work or you are pursuing your academic academic goals or something it's a good sign but still uh, when it comes down to the stock market speculation and all so do not go overboard uh, in the investment and all of that from over here guys uh, mars is going to be giving its uh, aspect to your eighth house and to your ninth house so definitely guys those who are engaged in research of any form or uh, occult practices or something there could be some see the thing is 
during this kind of uh, situation and all even if you will remain lucky in getting some sudden amount of money some suddenly some uh, policy of yours got matured or you got money from nowhere from unknown sources so this is one such kind of combination where people are not able to accumulate or save that money or put that money into the right use so the money will come suddenly from somewhere and will go somewhere you will not even realize so this is how the alignment is going to be but yes if you are pursuing higher studies or in any kind of competitive situation any kind of you know very daredevil kind of adventure action and all mars will definitely give you drive determination willpower the much it will be necessary for you now guys uh, when we talk about for the cancer natives definitely guys in your case uh, mars is your yokarak planet and in the transit mars is coming to your first house so again guys um, it hardly matters there are like certain houses first house um, we will not look at it only from the perspective of Mars getting debilitated. Whatsoever planet comes to the first house, its energy, its personality gets exuded in our persona. So yes, during this time, you will be filled with courage, energy to get the job done. Um, you want to hang out, surround yourself by the hot-blooded, young, energetic kind of people and all. The only thing is that just uh, Mars is uh, coming right over there in your first house. So try not to be too vocal uh, regarding the feelings of the hurt of yours and all. Because ultimately, eventually Mars will do its job being in your first house, it will fill you with energy. But again, you are defined by your emotions and your feelings. And Cancer is a feeling of, you know, for Mars, is going to be a warrior has been uh, kind of weakened with the emotional entanglement and all. So I mean to say over here, um, being vocal is one thing, just try not to be, um, you know, getting back at people with the feelings of some past hurt. That is the one thing which I want to say. Second thing is that for the attainment of position or something, it's a good time. We cannot deny this thing. Even in the original Kal Purush Kundli, it's the house of the Aries where both Mars and Sun tend to perform good. So being a fifth Lord and the tenth Lord coming to your first house, so opportunity will come to you on its own. Your magnetism, like this is one such kind of combination where whatever is meant for you, you will automatically by default attract towards yourself. So yes, guys, for manifestation, for law of attraction and all of that, being very energetic, filled with enthusiasm, coming across as a very strong debater, negotiator, it's good. But when we talk about the fifth house connected risk, speculation and all, over there, I will still would recommend to be cautious, to be careful. That is all what I can say. From over here, guys, Mars is definitely going to be giving its aspect to your fourth house. It will definitely, um, it will definitely make you like a protective kind of person towards any of the domestic or family related concern. You will be out there ready, willing to do your best to safeguard the interest of your family. Like, let's say, for example, you are a spokesperson of a country in the United Nations or in any global platform. So anyone casting any harm, any allegation, fake allegation to the institution or the cause you represent, you will get back to them. Like you will give them a taste of their own. So I mean to say, so you will be very, very protective, very aggressively protective towards those things which value a lot, which means a lot to you. Uh, definitely guys, Mars from over here is going to be giving its aspect to your seventh house as well. So we know this thing that, um, yes, see guys, the overall the concern over here is that Mars is just going to be behaving in a way that it wants you to be uh, very uh, quick to act or react in any given situation. And yes, for any of the commercial goals of yours, any of the commercial profit and opportunities and all, you'll be able to take the right decision at the right time. That is all what I can say. So yes, guys, uh, this is all what I can say. Uh, at times when Mars is transiting from the first house because the cancer people are a little bit prone towards, uh, what do you call that, headache, migraine and all those things. So it can just flare up your nerves and all. So little bit of the concerns of, you know, headache, feeling headache and all. But apart from that, in majority of the ways, it is going to be working out better for you. Now, guys, uh, when we talk about the Leo natives, definitely, guys, in your case, uh, Mars uh, is your Yokarak planet. It is transiting in your 12th house. So you have to be very, very careful regarding the, the kind of development taking place around you behind your back. So over here, there's a strong possibility that what is whatever is going to be promised to you, uh, things are going to be taking or happening other way around. So you have to look at things or contemplate on things from all level.
so that is the one thing which i want to recommend to you second thing is that uh, definitely guys um, uh, this is not a very good energy very good time because let's say for example even if you plan to uh, you know shift from one place to another place or join one organization to another uh, organization something so any of the travels any of the shifting in your residence in your home and something needs to be done very carefully so just like that you will end up paying bills for the things which you have not even uh, used or you have experienced and all so regarding the usage of utility um, regarding the usage of utility services uh, and all you have to be very careful what you are paying for what are you being billed or charged for and yes guys um, during this time um, do not do engage in anything which could uh, which could turn people envious of you or which could turn people against you you have to know this thing that mars is going to be making back and forth from your 11th and 12th house for a long span of time for another three four five months so that means you have to be careful around like you should be only revealing your secrets to the people who could be trusted and let's say for example there could be some um, you know like those kind of feelings of uh, being stranded like in unknown unusual places suddenly you are getting this feeling that okay i'm on my own in a strange place so those kind of experience so do not indulge into those kind of actions which could create those kind of final outcome that is all um, i can say as of now expenses suddenly can go high you have to be very mindful very careful specifically expense on the account of again guys when we talk about fourth house ninth house there are like good expense healthy expense as well so it all comes down to your um, like which all kind of things you are investing your money on so if it's something about where you are taking care of your family it's good but if you are just uh, thinking about you by yourself deep inside you feel restless now you want to get that cosmetic surgery done you want to go on that extra bag and spray you want to buy those bags which you cannot afford so just be very careful because this is how mars is going to be driving you or making you think or believe like that so be very careful uh, for those people who are like any of the research you are engaged in any of the phd scholarship in uh, foreign university and all they could still uh, they still stand a chance that they can you know get some good response and all now guys uh, when we talk about um, over here and again guys uh, this is one such kind of combination where a lot of the people get into some uh, questionable clandestine extramarital relations as well so because rahu is also there in the uh, right now in the transit in your 8th house so adding with this entry of mars in your 12th house it can trigger those kind of relationship as well now guys when we talk about the uh, aspect of the planet mars so from over here mars is going to be giving its fourth aspect to your third house definitely the fourth aspect is uh, aspect which protects you which shields you which guides you which motivates you so not to worry much about it with this uh, fourth aspect of the planet mars from over here mars is going to be giving its uh, straight aspect to your sixth house and to your um, like seventh house as well so definitely guys for performing good in any competitive situation for uh, being in this uh, capacity to perform well in any kind of competitive scenario situation and all it's a good transit i'm not seeing you much of being on a radar for any of these kind of situation and yes mars is going to be forming a connection with the saturn in the seventh house as well so yes over here you will de definitely find that the support which you will be expecting it might come from unusual or unknown sudden sources that is how we can expect mars to be behaving during this time now guys when you talk about the virgo natives definitely guys in your case uh, mars is not a very auspicious planet for you and now it is going to be transiting in your 11th house so definitely guys um, this is going to be a transit when you have to be a little bit careful of your aggression like specifically in any group setting like okay this is one such kind of transit which can actually make you very aggressive uh, towards the attainment of your goals like this is one such kind of setting where you will find people who are ready to opt for any means to get the job done but in this pursuit you might often or disgruntle people who are very close to you and all so just do not become a matter of a subject of uh, being ridiculed and all that is the one thing which i want to say over here along with that guys uh, because um, um, when we talk about the role of the mars in your case and because it is getting debilitated in the 11th house so during this time if you have to sign any contract you have to sign any agreement or if someone is giving you very high hope as long as in your comfort zone you are in your comfort zone it's fine but let's say for example someone asked you to uh, 
undertake a very long travel and meet for that important uh, <clears throat> like deal to get finalized or someone is giving you hope okay that i will get things done for you uh, you have to quit your job then we can join we can do something so relying on other people's um, you know uh, hope or promises and all do not indulge into doing something which is going to have a very deeper repercussion because guys in your case uh, mars is going to be spending a lot of time in the in your 10th house and the 11th house so this back and forth motion of the planet uh, Mars uh, in your 10th and 11th house you have to be a little bit careful regarding your actions and the immediate outcome of your actions in your career on your public image you have to be a little bit careful over there now guys uh, definitely from over here uh, Mars is going to be giving its um, like uh, fourth aspect to your uh, second house to the house of your finances definitely it will make you very accountable for your family members and all so not too much worry about over there it is see the only concern is that because uh, Mars in its dignity in the 11th house is making it too forceful that is where the fault lies but it's not like that you will be putting your efforts in the wrong direction it's just like that you are being over aggressive and that aggression or that approach and attitude might not get along well in any public setting um, along with that guys uh, from over here Mars is going to be giving its aspect to your like uh, fifth house and the um, sixth house so definitely for the students who are planning and preparing for any competitive exam any of your academic goals or something so those people can actually perform good so for performing good in your academics in any connected exams and all giving any performance any artistic creative projection of yours over there this aspect of the planet mars will actually act as a saving grace now guys uh, when we talk about the libra natives definitely guys in your case um, mars has got a rulership over your second house and the seventh house in the transit it is going to be uh, transiting to your tenth house it is getting debilitated over there so yes guys during this time you will definitely find that um, there is going to be a lot of pressure which will be mounting over you at your career front like there is going to be and guys uh, when we talk about the the mantra or the principle to learn or to be watchful of whenever mars is in the cancer is that do not be too um, intense with the exertion of your emotions because understand this thing that for mars being in the cancer is not the emotions which is driving a positive behavior okay understand this thing mars perform with its best of the capabilities in the Capricorn where the underlying factor is what is um, helping Mars work with its full complete efficiency when it has a earthly concrete set goals and support of prominent people for its performance. Mars it's weak in the cancer why because these are not the healthy emotions which is helping it perform or uh, execute well. So I mean to say you have to be a little bit careful. Let's say for example, you have not been treated well by your bosses in the past. Do not be very vocal about it. You might be backbiting about your boss to a colleague of yours and you do not know that colleague only is passing all the information to your boss. So be very careful uh, in your career related front. Like it's not a very positive or good energy to make any any sudden move in your career front because now Mars is debilitated in the uh, 10th house and Mars and Saturn are forming a aspect connection in your 5th house because 5th house also is the 8th from the 10th house so that means this overall combination is telling about that do not take any headstrong any impulsive sudden decision at your career front that is the one thing which I want to say again guys the only concern over here is that or I would say the saving grace is that um, we always have to take into consideration the Kal Purush Kundli in the Kal Purush Kundli 10th house belongs to the Capricorn where Mars attains exaltation so in a way it all comes down to how you can channelize your emotions if um, you know let's say for example you got insulted by your boss it's not gonna happen I mean to say you got uh, your boss took your class and you took that insult or embarrassment humiliation that okay now I will perform with my double uh, efficiency or let's say for example you got humiliated now you came back home you fought with your spouse your mood is uh, this you are thinking about uh, putting down papers this and that so again it all comes down to that your those jilted emotions how you are using it mars in the 10th house is not bad it gets very strong directional strength over there as well so yes guys a lot is dependent on how you are channelizing your energies when we talk about uh, the contribution of your immediate family or when we talk about the support from your immediate family 
or off from your spouse so definitely guys uh, mars uh, carrying a portfolio of some important aspect of your life is getting debilitated in the 10th house so that means like when we talk about uh, do not cling too much on the shoulder of your partner of your spouse and all because um, their support during this time does not seem to be very constructive very positive so just like that um, you know family might put you in some sort of you know family drama or some sort of you know entanglement emotional entanglement with the partner within the marriage and all so that is how things can work out suddenly so uh, in the existing relationship as well I'm looking forward to some sort of drama, emotional drama and all. And even for like if you are on a lookout for a partner for yourself because right now Venus is going to be transiting from your uh, like first house and after that it is moving to your second house. So I mean to say um, you will be driven towards or the attraction is going to be very quick but again uh, it is more of an energy of getting entangled into drama and all rather than some sustainable uh, supportive cooperation. Uh, receiving from someone so just be very mindful be very careful uh, now guys from over here Mars is going to be giving its um, giving its fourth aspect to your first house definitely Mars protects but um, at the same time it will make you very uh, determined you are going to be very much uh, aware regarding your public image regarding your um, like you know your identity and how much efforts you are putting in in the right direction the only concern is that whenever mars is expecting the um, like we say that the first house uh, just the the head part becomes a little bit prone towards injury and all so if you like drive and also specifically if you drive a bike or cycle and all so wear a helmet that is generally we recommend uh, along with that guys um, mars is going to be giving its aspect to your uh, like fourth house and the fifth house so definitely guys uh, drive determination will definitely be coming in and uh, a lot of the libra natives are going to be very much um, like kind of very much willing and ready to engage in any adventurous uh, road trips action in the life and all so they'll be driven towards that so because in the 10th house mars becomes very active and it wants to show its energy like you want to put those you do not want to put those pictures uh, when you are with your family you know when mars is in the first or 10th house you want to put those pictures when you are in the gym when you are doing a lot of biking sweating and all you have earned that sweat when mars is transiting like that so yes uh, this is how the whole energy and the uh, eighth aspect of the planet mars over this saturn in the fifth house is definitely gonna be supporting artists and creative people who are working very hard for some some big project big goal in the mind or uh, even for the students and all for their academic goals it is going to be a supportive aspect now guys uh, when we talk about the scorpions definitely guys in your case as you can see that um, planet mars becomes your ascendant lord and now it is going to be transiting in your ninth house so guys the sigh of relief is that at least it is going to be coming out of your like eighth house second thing is that definitely uh, wheresoever the ascendant lord goes our whole focus goes in the matters of that house during this time guys any of your aspiration if it is connected with the ninth house this could be foreign travels this could be you are a phd student or you are planning to go on a pilgrimage or something so you can think about or you can prioritize those kind of things as well and during this time see the thing is that in this kind of alignment and specific to the scorpions and the combination of the ninth house so relationship with the father could be a little bit heated up or easily uh, getting hurt or feeling offended in the hands of your father from the hands of your teachers and all your teacher might not have intended to hurt you or embarrass you but you will take it in that way and this is what the beauty of the planet is they will make you feel and think that oh my god i was picked i was embarrassed it's not like that this is how the planets will make you think or behave but again guys um, ascendant lord it is debilitated but again it is in the ninth house so in a way it is um, good for you that there will be some sudden turnaround of the fortune in your favor i can assure you and also because this year the things are very sensitive your 10th lord is getting debilitated in the uh, 12th house jupiter is turning retrograde in your 7th house so all what i can assure you is that just stay firm uh, in the path of the dharma um, it's not the mars whose debilitation in the ninth house is a matter of concern for you that 10th lord getting debilitated in the 12th house might be a matter of concern for guarding your public image but we, i will talk separately about that because sun transit is just for a month but mars is going to be having a good stay over here so that's all guys but i can say that um, any of the 
नाइन्थ हाउस रिलेटेड मैटर्स इफ यू आर इफ योर लाइफ राइट नाउ योर प्रोरिटीज राइट नाउ आर होवरिंग अराउंड द मैटर्स और द कंसर्न ऑफ द नाइन्थ हाउस यू विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड दैट सम यू नो लीप ऑफ फेथ और टच ऑफ द डिवाइन सडन एपिफनीज और लक सपोर्टिंग यू मेंटर्स गाइड्स पीपल कमिंग इन फ्रॉम नो वेयर एंड सडनली टेकिंग योर हैंड connecting you with the right direction with the right people right circumstances this is how things are going to be turning out for you from over here guys mars is going to be giving its aspect to your uh, 12th house so we know this thing that uh, any of the concerns of yours uh, sun is going to be transiting over here when uh, mars is going to be giving its aspect it will definitely try to safeguard the best of your interest to diminish your uh, possibility of expense or guard or protect your public image but still you have to be very mindful very careful regarding your actions and specifically anything which is uh, connected around the matters of money women and also you have to be very careful over there now guys from over here mars is going to be giving its aspect to your uh, third house and to your fourth house so definitely guys for any of the concerns of yours like for late uh, a lot of your work which you planning to initiate you're not able to initiate them because um, the third lord is also kind of you know uh, saturn is retrograde in the fourth house so you are planning to put one step ahead and then again you are three steps back in the life so i would say that this aspect of the planet mars will definitely trigger will give the will intensify the possibility of triggering or head starting the important projects which have been piling up for long so regarding that front guys uh, it's a good energy it's a supportive energy for you and uh, along with that guys this combination and mutual aspect with the planet saturn will also prove to be somehow kind of you know it's like you know when we say that mars whenever it is expecting the fourth house it um, gives us that inner drive and motivation to get the things done this is how you can look at this uh, combination the way uh, mars is going to be behaving around this time now guys um, when we talk about for the sagittarius natives definitely guys in your case uh, mars has got a rulership over your 5th house and your 12th house in the transit it is going to be getting debilitated in your 8th house so guys the very first thing is that any of the matters of uh, spending of money uh, if you deal in stock market speculation and all of that you have to be little bit careful there could be some sudden uh, unexpected expenses which you might have to deal with second thing is that we all know this thing that whenever mars is transiting from the 8th house be very careful like if you drive or like you do not follow the like proper safety instructions and all or in your line of work you have to deal with uh, sharp edged tools and all so just if you Uh, are exposed and vulnerable or accessible to these kind of sharp edge things and all uh, instrument tools and all so just be a little bit careful whenever you are around them second thing is that uh, definitely guys uh, see mars is transit uh, your ascendant lord jupiter is already gonna be uh, in a retrograde motion in your 6th house we all know this thing that 6th house in a way tells about the feelings of hurt conflict and all it is retrograde it might take you down in the memory lane that okay these were the people who did bad to me this and that and with mars also turning it house debilitated in the cancer it will also flare up all the feelings of hurt all the feelings of disappointments rejection betrayal so definitely guys you have to safeguard yourself the overall theme and energy and the halo around you is becoming of a uh, reliving reliving the past memory of wound of trauma of stress and this and definitely whether you talk about from a scientific mindset whether you talk about from a spiritual point of view it's not gonna end up giving you anything rather than just making you more stressed and all so these are the areas where you have to be very careful the only way guys it is going to be benefiting you if your fifth lord is going in the 8th house that means you are currently doing research of any form or phd you are in the fields of occult or something insurance revenue those people slightly can still get benefited now guys and yes uh, it can also increase your passion as well because uh, when this uh, uh, mars is going to be in the 8th house uh, venus in your case is also going to be transiting in the 12th house in the uh, in the uh, scorpio sign Uh, 12th house of bed pleasure and all so yes it can uh, definitely trigger up your uh, need for those uh, passion carnal desires fulfillment of those desires and all so how you balance how you manage things gracefully respectfully will become very important because guys this is one such kind of combination where uh, yeah you have to be careful i don't want to say much 
okay now from over here mars is going to be giving its uh, aspect to your uh, 11th house definitely it will empower you towards your wish fulfillment like you will be able to uh, make use of like this could be tact this could be diplomacy this could be psychological manipulation to control people to get the job done you will be able to do that very tactfully along with that guys from over here mars is going to be giving its aspect to your second house to your um, third house as well we all know this thing that it will definitely make you very determined very strongly willed for the fulfillment of your dreams for the fulfillment of your goals and all and mars is going to be giving its aspect to your third house as well so definitely guys during this time um, if you have been planning to kick start initiate something because see saturn is uh, turning retrograde and saturn is retrograde in your third house only till november 15 after that it is going to be in a rush to get everything done with Aquarius and do not come back here for next 28 years. So I mean to say, if there have been some important projects which have been piled up, all those kind of things which need to be initiated, you need to sign that document, you need to get started with it. So Mars's aspect, eighth aspect to this Saturn will definitely trigger it, push it. That enough of uh, slouching, just get to the job. So this is how planets are going to be behaving for you. Now guys, uh, when we talk about the Capricorn natives, definitely guys, in your case, um, Mars is going to be uh, transiting in your uh, like seventh house. So guys, we know this thing that Mars in your case has got a rulership over your fourth house and your 11th house and in the transit, it is going to be getting debilitated in your seventh house. So guys, uh, to begin with, the very first thing is that, see, uh, when we talk about the uh, matters of the seventh house, so definitely it can flare up your matrimonial life. And again, guys, the concern over here is that uh, because uh, it is a debilitated position of the planet Mars. So even in the matrimonial life, there will be, um, you know, outburst of the emotions and at times which could be the unhealthy one. So here we are not talking about emotions which motivate you, which drive you, which push you, uh, which makes you feel good. Here we are talking about, you know, feelings of hurt, not being accountable, not taking a responsibility, sarcasm and pointing out the mistakes, fault finding. So you have to be a little bit careful the way you will deal with any of the matters of your domestic life or of your family life. Along with that guys, uh, see the thing is that in certain ways <coughs> it is good for you for some sudden turn of event which could make you a strong contender in any public forum and something. Sudden turn of events, sequence of events, someone else was supposed to be appointed in that position. Now because of that person got into allegation, because that person got some health related crisis and all and suddenly you were picked for that position. So it could, the turnaround could happen in a way but there's a least possibility of that. But still there is a percentage of possibility which we can attach. And yes guys, uh, when we talk about doing something in the public domain see guys um, the thing is that uh, your ascendant is being ruled by the planet Saturn so that means you are big you are meant for those big position and all to command over public and all but we all know this thing that they are like <laughs> they are like when you are in a public sphere so when public loves you they will make you you know on put you on their head and when suddenly some some scandal break out, suddenly something happened, some confusion happened, they will be the one who will be thirsting for your blood. Like the public outroar is going to be very big. So yes, this is that kind of sentiment, the public sentiment, collective sentiment, that suddenly you will feel that, okay, why I am running into very uh, disgruntled, frustrated, resentful people lately. Because see, uh, when we talk about our, um, you know, here we are not talking about people we deal in our uh, daily uh, engagements like you know your colleagues at office your neighbor people at your gym seventh house generally seventh house fourth house generally and the tenth house generally tells about the casual encounters where you know suddenly uh, some uh, uh, some strangers outburst on a transit or something like that so in your case uh, fourth lord is there in the seventh house from the seventh house planet mars is giving aspect to the 10th house so that means just uh, be very mindful and be very uh, tight grip when being subjected to these kind of public outroar or uh, uh, strangers outburst and all so in these kind of situation keep on holding your calmness but again guys like the way i mentioned this thing uh, it could be commercially beneficial that possibility cannot be ruled out um, and even the fourth aspect of the planet Mars will definitely make you very strong willed regarding your 
fulfillment of your goals or career goals and all from over here mars is going to be giving its straight aspect to your ascendant and to your second house as well which is also a very good news like definitely um, just be very mindful careful that you should not get any head injury but yes uh, this aspect will give you the drive the determination which you are needing and saturn being in a retrograde till november 15th in your second house so this aspect of the planet uh, like mars from your seventh house going to your second house will definitely trigger lot many events which saturn is meant to do and it is just taking time again guys after finishing it's this retrograde motion saturn is going to be in a rush to get everything done with aquarius and then do not come back here for the next 30 years like i mean to say it will make a move on in the end of the march only but yes it will be in a fast pace speed so this uh, entry of mars and this mutual aspect not mutual i mean to say just the aspect of the mars to the planet saturn will definitely push it towards the delivery or uh, releasing the results which are being impending or where you are feeling the slowness in the matters of your finances or your engagement dealing with your family on any concern any issues moving ahead guys now when we talk about the aquarians definitely guys in your case um planet mars is going to be kind of creating a raj yoga kind of situation vipreet raj yoga so uh, being the 10th lord and the third lord it is uh, debilitated getting debilitated in the sixth house so this is one such kind of combination where it has been seen that in a vipreet kind of raj yoga kind of situation people end up uh, you know performing very good in any competitive situation again guys mars in the cancer is not about very healthy emotions it's like you know in the past someone you know kind of picked on you someone made some comment on you someone you know uh, humiliated you embarrassed you and now you got a chance and you got the same enemy same competitor and you will put everything at your disposal to omit him remove him with your best performance and all so that sort of drive generally fills the person and because in your case mars has got a rulership over your 10th house of your profession and third house of your prowess of your courage of your valor so i mean to say if you are a lawyer or if you are connected with judiciary health fitness any goals any goals you have set for yourself which you are trying hard to achieve or during this time only you are going through any law suit related concern or you have to write any competitive exam so you will be able to perform very good or come out victorious in any tumultuous kind of situation now guys uh, when we talk about from the additional aspect of the planet mars from over here mars is going to be giving its aspect to your ninth house it will definitely um, kind of strengthen reinforce the prospects of your luck any of the concern where you are trying to get into higher studies uh waiting for any visa immigration over there as well it will support you from over here mars is going to be giving its aspect to your 12th house and to your ascendant as well so again guys it is a good combination we all know this thing that uh, this is one such kind of combination where mars will definitely be able to see through any of those people challenges or enemies which are kind of trying to malign your image or trying to cause any damage from behind the scene so you will be like smart enough or logical enough to see through any any sort of trap which might your enemies might be laying for you so yes guys for um, see the thing is this transit of mars has got more to do with making you come out of your problems dealing with the problems with like a soldier like a warrior that is all what i can say so overall it's a positive and kind of a victorious kind of transit for the aquarians um, and again guys there is a strong possibility that if there have been any concerns of the piled up debts because in your case guys your rahu is also transiting in the second house so if you would have ended up taking some very wrong financial decision and all and you are looking for those opportunities to get rid of those kind of you know debts and all so the transit of mars over here will definitely empower you enable you or put you in a position to manage that well as well so yes guys and now lastly when we talk about the piscians so definitely guys in your case uh, mars has got a rulership over your like uh, second house and the ninth house and in the transit mars is going to be transiting over there in your fifth house so definitely guys mars is a very favorable planet for you uh, becoming the uh, because it has got a rulership over the ninth house the most fortunate house in our chart and the ninth lord is coming to your fifth house so again guys uh, this is one such kind of combination definitely mars is getting debilitated but still like the energy which these houses entail so even if you are going to have a breakdown you are going to have a frustration outburst 
of your energy and all so it will only work out in your favor only yes when we talk about the living signification like when we say that if you are already pregnant or your delivery is due during these days only definitely you have to be careful but let's say for example you are an artist or a creative person someone you know picked on you someone gave some bad feedback and that drove you that motivated you to perform good and all even in your academic goals and all uh, this center of mars will definitely fill you with the energy that whatever you want to the way you want to perform the way you want to express you will have the right set of freedom and a channel to release that energy in the matters of uh, investment guys you have to be a little bit careful the second lord is getting debilitated in the fifth house so if you are flying very high with very big plans big dreams uh, investing in some new venture and also you have to be a little bit careful second lord getting debilitated in the fifth house all those chances and risk taken by you in your investment might not work out well along with that guys um, there could be some sudden misunderstanding uh, in the loving relationship with your partner with your lover as well so in that department as well you have to be little bit careful now guys from over here mars is going to be giving its uh, additional aspect to your eighth house the fourth aspect to your eighth house definitely we know this thing that uh, the fourth aspect of the planet mars is very protective so you will be wise enough to uh, look forward to any hidden opportunities or something you will definitely be smart enough to see your uh, share in any joint resources kind of setting and all like if you're already engaged and working as a as a realtor as an insurance agent and all uh, you are working in the field of uh, research investigation occult and all those people can also get benefited from over here mars is going to be giving its aspect to your uh, like uh, 11th house and the 12th house so both the houses of the uh, profits and the losses but guys the good part is that uh, definitely uh, from over here mars is going to be uh, churning up or activating the planet saturn in the uh, 12th house as well we all know this thing that um, saturn uh, is retrograde in this sign till november 15th only after that it will be in a rush uh, and because it has to uh, finish the remaining transit uh, till march uh, 30th only so i mean to say that whatsoever uh, like uh, siddhi uh, like discriminatory intelligence or divine insight or whatsoever the psychic transcendental awareness whatever siddhiya you meant to gain from planet saturn because it is only going to be coming to this sign only after next then 28 or 30 years so um, if saturn has to turn little slow or something so this aspect of the planet mars from the fifth house through your devotion through your sadhana through your mantras you will trigger that um, Saturn to grant you that. Again, guys, understand this thing. When we talk about the domain of the power which we put in the yoga, that comes from the Mars and that is there in the fifth house. But how, whether you will get the Siddhi or not, that is with the Saturn. Saturn rules over the spirituality and all and the occult and all. That is connected with Saturn and that is there in the 12th house. So it's a good alchemist kind of combination getting formed for the Pisces. So yes guys, this is something which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs. For further more updates and notifications on the divine science of Vedic astrology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram account. Dhaniwad.